In his book African Genesis, Robert Ardrey famously declared, not in innocence and not in Asia was mankind born. Most significant of all our gifts, as things turned out, was the legacy bequeathed us by those killer apes, our immediate forebears, he concluded. Nevertheless, a mass exodus of hominin species occurred around one million years ago from Africa to Eurasia. Human ancestors fled their home continent in droves, prompting questions about why this happened. According to a recently published study, this massive hominin migration was most likely a response to the first major glaciation of the Pleistocene epoch, as well as an associated population collapse, which coincided perfectly with the exodus and may reveal one of the most important events in human evolution. Human species genomes can contain evidence of times when organisms experienced severe bottlenecks, reducing their population to a small fraction of its previous size. In the case of humanity, the bottleneck occurred among an ancestor, most likely Homo erectus erectus, long before we existed as a species, but the legacy is still present. Furthermore, during this bottleneck, two ancestral chromosomes are thought to have fused to form chromosome 2, in humans, around 900,000 to 740,000 years ago. As a result, the ancient severe bottleneck may have marked a speciation event that resulted in the emergence of the last common ancestor shared by Denisovans, Neanderthals and modern humans, whose divergence was estimated to have occurred between 765,000 and 550,000 years ago. However, when it comes to determining the timing of the event, geneticists and paleontologists disagree, with competing papers proposing different dates. Resolving the question is critical, because determining the cause of the extinction is nearly impossible without knowing when it occurred. New research claims to have resolved the contradiction and found evidence for an unidentified human migration in the process. The study states, the timing and causes of hominin migrations out of Africa have been of recent interest. Two scenarios, one based on modern genomic data and the other on the chronology of hominin sites, suggest population bottlenecking in the early Pleistocene. An ice age is invoked as a bottleneck trigger in both cases, despite the fact that they differ in timing and thus in the actual event that caused depopulation. The chronology of key hominin sites in Eurasia leads researchers to conclude that bottlenecking occurred at the first major ice age of the Pleistocene 900,000 years ago in agreement with the genomic model and coincided with a major diaspora from Africa into Eurasia when hominins were close to extinction. The genetic study found that there were fewer than 1,300 hominins on the planet at the time, supporting the hypothesis that the bottleneck occurred 930,000 years ago. According to the research, this was not a brief disaster. For 117,000 years, populations remained tenuously low, with humans classified as an endangered species by modern standards. The bottleneck has reduced modern human genetic diversity by nearly two-thirds of what it would have been otherwise, according to the study. As depicted in the schematic diagram of human population size history, both African, light green, and non-African, light blue populations are shown. The width of the boxes represents the effective population size, the number of breeding individuals, with naturally occurring variations. The timing of out-of-Africa dispersal and the divergence between African and non-African populations are indicated. The shadowed time period represents the early to middle Pleistocene transition. The red arrow represents the peak of glaciation during the transition. The ancient severe bottleneck inferred in this study is highlighted. The gap in the available African hominin fossil record is illustrated, as well as an approximate chronology for Homo erectus erectus, the last common ancestor, and Homo sapiens. The estimated time period during which two ancestral chromosomes fused to form one is also depicted on the right. Archaeological evidence indicated that hominins were widespread at the time, but for whatever reason, the majority did not contribute to modern genetics. Even the authors of the paper acknowledge that genetics does not have all of the answers in this case and requires archaeological support. According to a second study, the disappearance of inhabited areas was caused by a significant increase in environmental variability, which drove our ancestors out of Eurasia. They concluded 
that the first major Pleistocene ice age occurred around 900,000 years ago based on oxygen isotope shifts. On the other hand, hominin habitation sites began to appear throughout Eurasia around 900,000 years ago. They interpret this data as indicating that very dry conditions in Africa became so unbearable for our forefathers around this time that the majority died out. One refugia from this cold, dry ice age would have been in the now-drowned region of Southeast Asia known as Sunderland. During the ice age, an area larger than India would have become exposed, providing an ideal landscape for ancient humans to live. Java man, previously known as Anthropopithecus erectus and Pithecanthropus erectus, is an early human fossil discovered on the Indonesian island of Java in 1891 and 1892. It was the oldest hominid fossil discovered at the time, estimated to be between 700,000 and 1,490,000 years old, and it remains the type specimen for Homo erectus. Recently, Dutch paleontologists used a collection of over 20,000 animal fossils to recalculate the age of the layer where Java man was discovered. This assessment places Java man's fossils between 900,000 and 1 million years old, right before the speculated mass extinction event. Java man was about 5 feet 8 inches tall, and his thigh bones indicate that he walked upright like modern humans. The femur is thicker than that of a modern human, indicating that he did a lot of running. This could mean both chasing prey and running from predators. The skull was distinguished by thick bones and a receding forehead. The large teeth enlarged and jutted the jaw, and the lower lips overhung the lower margin of the mandible, giving the impression that there was no chin. The brow ridges were straight and massive, and the cranial capacity was only 900 cubic centimetres. Furthermore, a 500,000-year-old Pseudodon shell is a fossil freshwater shell from the species Pseudodon vondembuskianus trinilensis, discovered in Java, Indonesia, and is the earliest known evidence of abstract design. The shell contains a zigzag engraving attributed to Java man, which may be the world's oldest known anthropogenic engraving. The engravings were most likely made on a fresh shell specimen with the tooth of a shark. It is also suggested that all grooves were created by the same person in a single session using the same tool. Based on anatomical and archaeological evidence, as well as Java man's ecological role, meat from vertebrates was most likely a significant part of their diet. There is also evidence that Java man used tools made from shells to slice meat and general butchery. Finally, a stingray stinger was found that may have been used as a harpoon. These are all evidence of Java man's intelligence, some of which had thought to be only in the repertoire of modern humans. Java man's dispersal through Southeast Asia also coincides with the extinction of a giant turtle species, which could have been caused by overhunting, because the turtle would have been an easy, slow-moving target which could have been stored for a long time. Megalocalis is an extinct genus of tortoises that lived during the Miocene and Pleistocene periods. They are known for their massive size, which is among the largest of any known turtle, reaching a maximum length of over 6.5 feet. During the dry glacial periods, it ranged from western India to Indonesia, though the island specimens are likely of different species. The genus is thought to have become extinct as a result of Homo erectus's arrival in these regions, based on staggered extinctions on islands and evidence of exploitation. There is evidence that the Java man population lived in a constantly wet forest environment. More specifically, the environment resembled a savanna, but was most likely frequently inundated. Plants found at the excavation site included grass, ferns and ficus, all of which are common in lowland rainforest. Burned wood has been discovered in layers containing Java man fossils, dating from 500,000 to 830,000 years ago. Nonetheless, because central Java is a volcanic region, the charring could have been caused by natural fires, so there is no conclusive evidence that Java man controlled fire. However, more than three quarters of a million years ago, early humans gathered around a campfire near an ancient lake in the eastern Mediterranean to make tools and possibly cook food, providing the earliest evidence of fire use in Europe or Asia. 
researchers discovered evidence that these early people hunted, processed meat, and used fire at a site in the northern Dead Sea Valley. Developing the ability to use fire undoubtedly resulted in significant changes in their diet, defense, and social interactions. According to the research team, the site has been occupied since approximately 790,000 years ago, not long after the aforementioned extinction event. Meanwhile, low sea levels facilitated the survivors' migration out of Africa, resulting in the emergence Neanderthals and Denisovans. In fact, many other African animals, including elephants, made similar migrations around the same time. The researchers are unsure whether other members of the human family actually established an earlier presence in Eurasia. If they did, they could have been outcompeted by the newcomers or died out sooner for a variety of reasons. In any case, they left no traces in the human genome. The existence of an ancient severe bottleneck could explain the extreme scarcity of hominin fossils found in Africa and Eurasia between 950,000 and 650,000 years ago. In Africa, only a few fossil specimens from this time period have been discovered, including cranial fragments from Gombor in Ethiopia and fossil samples from Tiganif in Algeria. Significantly, the paper states that a depleted population of human ancestors most likely lived in Africa around 900,000 years ago, although Eurasia cannot be excluded as a home region for those survivors. In fact, skulls and bones discovered over a century ago in Java, Indonesia, may have put an end to the long-held theory that we descended from an East African cradle of humankind. During the same time period, the East Asian fossil record contains specimens identified as Homo erectus erectus. The extinction also coincides with a pole reversal around 790,000 years ago and a comet impact centered in Southeast Asia around 780,000 years ago, a scenario we find to be highly compelling. Therefore, the discovery broadens our understanding of early human behavioral patterns. It demonstrates that these hominins were capable of coping with severe environmental catastrophes and challenges. And with that tantalizing statement, we leave you to ponder the mysteries of our shared human history. Until next time, stay curious and stay questioning. Also, please subscribe, share and explore our channel's other highly compelling videos. Thank you and take care. And take